the Study Abroad India course that has been set up to provide CUNY students with an opportunity to get to know a culture other than their own. By being in a very different country, students are able to really understand something about themselves and their own culture. It's going to be cultural shock, but I know that I'll grow from it because, like, as we were told, we're free Americans walking around thinking that everything is, like, cool, and you go to India and it's going to be completely different. Family members and friends, they were, like, against me coming because they thought that I was going to go through trouble and obstacles and difficulties, get sick, you can name it. I was going to go through it. The course is a documentary production and cultural studies course. CUNY students work collaboratively with students from the Prasad Film Academy on a series of documentaries dealing with social issues. A profile of the Banyan, which is an organization that provides services for homeless, mentally ill, and destitute women. An orphanage that provides services to both children, teenagers, and elderly. The third organization is the Clark School for the Deaf, which is an organization that provides educational and vocational services for deaf children and as well as visually impaired children. The American students and the Indian students, we've come to work together well, Vinky and I together, because we've learned to listen to each other. Well, we both speak English, so that isn't a problem. but. Uh, you know, film has a certain grammar, and uh, I think sometimes we have different uh, grammars. Indian yeah. cinema is a lot different than American cinema. You know, it's more male-dominant here, and it's what the men say. And in the States, it's different. It's not anymore what the men say, you know. Women are out there. The working style over here is different. Like, mm -hmm. what we f find interesting, uh, she might not find interesting, but she might find in some interesting stuff in the simple things mm -hmm. which we have used to seeing a lot of times, so we might not feel interesting. Yeah. So bridging that gap took a little time. Mm -hmm. But it's the subtlety of getting to know a person. Um, and I think that's really investing in, in spending time with that person, um, hearing them out, having an argument or two, or a difference of opinion. But getting to know that that person has a temperament, has feelings, just like you do, and is also as committed to what they're doing as you are. When I was with the students at the orphanage, I felt that they were very open, very receptive to me, and I, you know, calling me sister, sister, come, come. I was surprised. The interaction was incredible. <laughs> Super. Thank you. I like your hair. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Super. You don't think so? My first impression of India, it is chaos. But somehow they've managed to have everything organized. There's motorcycles, there's cars, there's people, everybody squishing in together, getting a side on the road. I knew the transportation issue was going to be a little tough for me, but my group has been very helpful. The little obstacles have not become the big obstacles for me. The second part of the course is a sightseeing component. Students spend three days in Madurai, and they visit several important temples. The third part of the course is several days at the Gandhigram 
Institute of Rural Health. Students get to observe some street theater performances in the rural region of interior Tamil Nadu. The important thing that I hope students walk away with from this course is that they understand that India is an extremely complex country. It is a developing nation, and it's the world's largest democracy. It has an extraordinary history. It is one of the most ancient civilizations on the planet. And that students will understand that development in developing countries face a lot of issues. That the important things in life are not necessarily how much we have, but it's also what we can give and our connections to other people.